name is Jamie Lunke. I'm a senior fellow in the F.A. Hayek Program for Advanced Study in Philosophy, Politics, and Economics. I'm here with my colleague, Dick Wagner, the author of a book we're going to be discussing today, James M. Buchanan and Liberal Political Economy, A Rational Reconstruction. Thank you for joining me here today. Well, thank you for inviting me. I'm looking forward to our conversation. It seems, though, that Buchanan was very critical of some particular types of interaction with practical politics, specifically engaging and actually making specific policy recommendations. One of my favorite uh, stories, I think, in the appendix where you engage in some personal reflection is when you tell about being in his class for the first mm -hmm. day and attempting to ask, answer the question about what was wrong with the American tax code and you know, being an enthusiastic young mm -hmm. student, you had all these ideas, things you've been learning and reading <laughs> over the summer, and he told you, Mr. Wagner, we're Democrats here, not autocrats, and mm -hmm. paraphrasing. You, you bring me down a long, long way, uh, far back. Uh, yeah, I had spent the summer uh, before going to Virginia reading, I read Buchanan, a textbook on public finance. Uh, I read things by his academic advisor who he didn't like, I didn't know that at the time, on, <laughs> uh, on, on tax reform, all this stuff, and he asked this question. Uh, what was wrong in the very first question in class? What was wrong with the American tax system? And I piped up and answered the question, I thought beautifully, about closing loopholes, lowering rates and all this, and he shot right back, Mr. Wagner. You have no business answering a question like that. Yeah, we're Democrats. I didn't know what he meant. Uh, that, that came later. But what he meant was part of his wanting to get away from what I, I think he regarded as feudal modes of thinking where public finance, collective business, was the province of a few public officials who had to be regarded as doing the right thing because public business was too complicated for ordinary people. And so he thought it wasn't any particular economist business to say what a good tax system should be. He thought it, what a good tax system would be would be what a, a set of people would generate out of a deliberation among themselves. And that's the kind of the image he had. Everything he did was uh, centered around that kind of orientation that he probably said to himself, I want to really plumb deeply how you think about problems of self-governance, where the typical way that the economists to this day think about government is government is some entity that uh, you can instruct to do the right thing that can bypass uh, people and their interests or, or their beliefs. And that was something that Buchanan uh, you know, disagreed with thoroughly. And so that notion that, hey, we're Democrats here. Uh, he later, <laughs> I remember, you to remind me, he, he later in that same semester, he had a lot of these free-ranging discussions with students over different papers. And there was a one instance where I remember Buchanan piping up and say, it seems as though today only Mr. Wagner and I are Democrats. <laughs> but so it was, it, it was something that you know, was really in deeply in, in, his, in his foundational beliefs. It sounds like you made a lot of progress over the course of just that one semester then. You got upgraded to Democrat status. Yeah, well, you know, that uh, it, it didn't happen at one instant because I, I still remember, you know, we'd have roughly every week or every second week we would have paper assignments to turn in. He signed at the end of this first class period after I'd embarrassed myself. He assigned this uh, topic, said, I've heard it said that if a fly, I think it was a fly, it might have been a flea, but a grasshopper, but it was some insect. He said if this insect were like nine times as big as it is, it wouldn't be able to fly and it might even crush under its own weight. And then he said, well, you know, government has grown. It used to be less than 10% and now it's up around 40%. He said, I think there's an interesting problem with fiscal dimension here. And so for next week, 
you all should go out and write a small essay on the problem of fiscal dimension. I put aside my embarrassment for a minute, shot up my hand, and said, Mr. Buchanan, could you give us a clue of what you're looking for? And he instantly shot back and said, Mr. Wagner, if I knew what I was looking for, I wouldn't care to hear what you think. So, <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, you know, shortly thereafter, I, I came to understand his, his mode of instruction, and I think in, internalized a lot of that myself. It's always a pleasure talking to you, Dick, and today was no exception, so thank you so much. Well, thank you so very much. I always love talking to you, too.